Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can add a new user to your WordPress website only using the PHP My Admin database. So we will be adding a new user to this database. Let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Well, sometimes you might have to create a username only using the PHP My Admin credentials. So this video will give you directions on how you can add a user to database. Now first thing first, you need to access the database of your WordPress website. So let me quickly access the PHP My Admin. By the way, you can go to cPanel and find PHP My Admin. Anyway, so once you are here, click on the database name and then click on WP underscore users. Please note, the database prefix might have been changed for your website. It could be something underscore users. Anyway, then click on insert. On the user login, give any name, I will write test. User underscore pass, use any password you want. But please make sure you choose MD5. Then on user underscore nice name, use anything you want. Then add a user email. User status, set it to zero and give a display name. Then click on go. So if everything is correct, you will see this one row inserted. And please take a note of the row ID, which is three in this case. At this point, we have created a user. However, we need to assign the role to this user. For that, go to wp underscore user meta. Again, please note that the prefix wp might be different in your case. Click on insert. So the user ID must be the same which was 3 in our case. In the meta underscore key, we need to write wp underscore capabilities. But I have saved it in a text document. I will simply copy this and paste it here. This all will be provided. Likewise, in the meta underscore value, again copy this and paste it here. This will give the user ID 3 that is test and administrative right. Then click on go. So you will see something like this. If you see anything in red, that means that there must be an error. However, it looks all good in our case. Anyway, again click on insert. Then use the same user ID, then in meta underscore key, this time copy this and paste it. For the meta underscore value, you can write 10 and then click on go. So now you should be able to access the website with the new login details. Let's try it. Go to wp-admin. And let's try with the new username and password we just created. So you can see we can now access the website's dashboard. And if I go to users, you can see this test user has the administrative role. So this is how you can add a new user using the database. Thank you very much.